Our next guest is a very funny guy who spent seven seasons as Zoe Deschanel's TV roommate starting Thursday on HBO Max. He goes from new girl to nude guys as a pioneer of 1970s erotica on the new show Minx. <laughs> You say nude men? <laughs> Not like a schwanz right in the face, you know? Classy, with your modern, you know, lady point of view. Are you mentally ill? You're the one who came up with the idea. No, that was a conversational bon mot. Do you even understand what it is I'm trying to do here? Of course I do. Feminism, making <laughs> fair and equal for the chicks. So tell me this, how is it fair and equal that a guy has 12 places to go to see a pair of titties but a gal has no place to go to see a dog. Please welcome Jake Johnson. How are you? Great. So, I don't know if you remember this, but the last time you were here was like three days before we shut down for the pandemic. Yeah, and we were the biggest goobers on TV. Yeah, well, we were L bumping. <laughs> and we were like, yeah. it's no big deal. <laughs> and we were wrong. Yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> and it's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> We've destroyed that yeah, one. Don't worry right. about that. <laughs> yeah, we thought like, if we don't shake hands, we'll be fine. Yeah, and I also thought like, oh, everyone's making a really big deal of it, and it's gonna be fine. Everybody chill. And then the world stopped. Yeah. And that was recorded, so you can't deny it and say, like, no, I mean, I had ideas, but it's fine. I don't know. I think Donald Trump has taught us that you can. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, you brought a photo from your time during lockdown, yeah. and uh, I don't want to reveal the photo yet. I want to, I'd like to hear the story behind it. Well, I wasn't working, and my kids were bored, and we had a day where they said, like, would you ever cut your hair? Mm -hmm. I said, of course I would cut my hair. And then I started thinking of, like, the hunks, like the Tom Hardys. Mm -hmm. who shave their hair and they look so good. Yeah. And I thought, why not me? <laughs> Maybe I'm that guy. And you let them do it or you did it yourself? I did it, they were watching, they were cheering me on, it was fun, I shaved it, it was feeling good at first. Mm -hmm. I got it all gone, it was shaved. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> oh. It I'll tell you, Jimmy, the features don't lie. Uh. And I, did, I know I got a nose. I didn't know I had that nose. <laughs> and my daughter, when, when I shaved it off, I, before I saw it, I was like, what do you think? And she goes, Daddy, you look terrible. <laughs> you asked me to do this. <laughs> well, don't listen to your kids ever again, I guess is the moral there. Yeah, you're like, you're one like arrest away from getting a, a teardrop tattooed oh, yeah. under your eye. But I really, you know, honestly, you look at Tom Hardy and you look at this, how yeah, no, did this happen? It's not Tom Hardy, but you do look good and, you know, regular. You just don't good. ever go I mean, bald. I look okay, there was one clap. You look good regular. Okay, okay. So, I'm by it, I'm by it. On the show, which yeah. is set Thanks. in what, 1971? 71, Are yeah. you wearing a wig on that? No, no, I grew it long. Oh, you grew your hair yeah. long? Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, so yeah. your hair grows when you want it to. Yeah. Uh, and did you like having long hair? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I was surprised how quickly I got very vain. Really? And long hair really does it to you. Once your hair goes past here, this occurs. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start thinking about like how you condition it. And then if you use a certain conditioner and then you sleep on it and you wake up and it looks great, well, now you're in a routine. <laughs> and then you get to work and people compliment you. And with my looks, I'm not that guy. So when I'd get to work and someone would say, nice hair, I'd be like, thank you so much. I really? conditioned it and then I slept on it wet. Wow. <laughs> so you had a whole thing I had going. a whole thing. And the other thing that happens is when you're a man with long hair, you join a club. Just like, you know, guys who drive Harleys. They see each other and they can both kind of do this. Well, if you're a man with long hair and you're around another man with long hair, you're allowed to say, beautiful locks, brother. <laughs> and they can say back, do you condition? And I go, yeah, I condition, and then I sleep on it wet, and I go, looks great. As soon as you cut it, you do that same line, you are in a death trap. Really? <laughs> Is that true? Is there a, a, a camaraderie yeah. between men of long hair? My hair was down to here. If I saw another long-haired man, I'm allowed to go, nice, bro. <laughs> and then you go like, yeah, you too, man. I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. Just wow. throwing it out. 
Wow, I feel like I want to be part of that. Have you ever gone long hair? No, I've never really had long hair, but maybe if I uh, start smoking, I'll be part of a community. <laughs> yeah, so cigarettes and long <laughs> hair. So Minx is a show yes. about, uh, for those who don't know, uh, well, you, well, you can yeah, tell Yeah, I'd say Young about. Feminist wants to have her magazine published and no one will do it. And so my character, Doug Renetti, decides to publish it, but with a twist. Quite a twist, <laughs> which is that there are naked men in the there, magazine. Uh, we need to put nude men in the middle and then all her writing. And so it's about basically the first kind of like playgirl. Is it based on someone real or a real magazine? So, you know, I think it's loosely based on Playgirl. Okay. But I loosely based my character off my Uncle Eddie. <laughs> Uncle Eddie? <laughs> yeah. He's a guy I grew up with. Um, so Eddie was having legal trouble, and he had to come live with us when I was growing up. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful father figure type. <laughs> and um, but one day he said to me, I was 15, and he goes, uh, you want to do a football pool together? And I was like, sure, yeah. He goes, great. He goes, okay. Printed out all the teams and the scores, and he goes, hand that to everybody in school and uh, get them to give you five bucks. And I go, great. So I did, and it spread like wildfire, Jimmy. <laughs> everybody wanted in. Card, card, money, money, money. Come Sunday, I go to him, and I go, okay, I hit about 700 bucks. I go, here it is, so how do I do it? Uh, what's the system? And he goes, no system. <laughs> and I go, yes, system. How do I do it? And he goes, no system. And I go, so what do I do? And he goes, who do you trust more than anybody? And I go, it's school? A.J. Gomberg. <laughs> and he goes, so call A.J. Gomberg, tell him he won the pool, you'll give him $200, and for him to shut his effing mouth. <laughs> so I go, hey, A.J., it's uh, Jake. You won the pool. And he goes, how did I win? I didn't win any games. I go, shut your effing mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. A.J. got the 300 bucks, you kept the 400 bucks? Eddie took a cut. Eddie <laughs> took a cut. Yeah, well, that's an Uncle Eddie for you. Eddie took a cut. Wow. And is Uncle Eddie still with us? R.I.P. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, yes. With, <laughs> that's yes. how that story is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling uh, Uncle Eddie looked a little bit like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Jake Johnson, the show is uh, very, very uh, highly praised. I've been seeing great reviews. It's yeah, called really Minx. Excited. It premieres Thursday on HBO Max. We'll be right back with Tanache. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>